Hey guys, it's Chris. How you doing? Um, this video is going to be about... I'm just going to talk freely on this video. This is going to be about crop circles, okay? There's really nothing in scripture about crop circles, but there's plenty in scripture about, you know, how tricky the devil is and the lies of the devil and how, uh, you know, people will be following other gods and giving heed to false doctrine and lies and false teachings and be deceived. And what's going on with these crop circles is this. They started... They, it, it says that they were started a long time ago, like hundreds of years ago, but that's a lie. When they, 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 those were called fairy circles. What they are is they're a circle of mushrooms. And they, they're, they're a perfect circle in the grass of mushrooms. And that's also a spiritual event that has a lot to do with witchcraft. But we're not going to talk about those. We're talking about crop circles here. We're talking about when the, when the crops are turned down perfectly and it's a perfect circle. And they usually come in a big circle or in some kind of pattern in the fields. And uh, recently it's getting bigger and bigger with the alien deception. Anyone who's got half a brain that's a Christian knows that Satan's planning a false invasion or some kind of alien event. We don't know exactly what it is, but you could rest assured if our government's behind it, it's the lie of the devil. So that you don't really need to get afraid of that, but you don't need to get afraid of anything if you have Jesus. They can't do anything. All they can do... Number one, they can't kill you unless the Father wants you to come home. The Bible says all things work to the good of those who love the Lord, so you need to know that. And that's all that matters. If you know you have the Holy Spirit, that's all that matters. You have nothing to worry about. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, you have a ton to worry about. Big time. Big time. Seek Jesus now and get him. And don't stop seeking until he comes in and you know he's there and you'll know. But aside from that, what's going on is in England, in, an, in the Illuminati stronghold in England, where the Rothschilds are and where all these other people are who are heavy, heavy into witchcraft, it's like their capital. And, you know, these people are high-level witches and warlocks and Satanists, and they've been chosen since the get-go. The Rothschild family, is, is their crest is the Red Shield. The red, the red is the color of the dragon. Their shield has all the images of the beasts of Revelation on it. They, they are heavy into gargoyles on all, all their castles. That's why these castles have demon gods, gargoyles on them. Because these people are high-level Luciferian families, you know. And... Uh, a lot of people get, you know, in fact, I'm going to do the next video on, on why I can expose these people and get away with it and what, and what you need to watch out for because they almost killed me. But aside from that, these crop circles are sorcery. They are witchcraft on a massive scale by conjuring up demons and massive principalities. A lot of these uh, UFOs you see in the air, the ones that glow really bright, those are demons, those are fallen angels in the air, massive fallen angels taking the form of angels of light. They could take any form. They take the form of UFOs. They take the form of aliens. They take the form of comets, anything. If they have enough demon power, they could take any form. And when these major Illuminati families do sorcery and conjure them up and give them blood, and there's a lot of human being authority and power behind this, these demons could perform signs and wonders in the air. And they could take any form. And what's going on with these crop circles is, I'm going to put a bunch of pictures up. I have some on my computer. Hold on one second. I just wanna just wanna look through them and talk to you guys real quick. I got one here of a gray alien. This is a, a demon 
a, a, a demon fallen angel of Lucifer constructed this beautiful artwork. This was not done by men. Any man with half a brain knows that. I was a contractor. I know how corners are made and straight lines and circles and how perfect it could be done and what kind of time. And this was not done by any man. No, Unless maybe one or two of them I made a mistake, I'm going to put up about 20-something pictures of crop circles. And I looked through them, and at least 95% of these, I know for sure, were not done by the hands of men on the ground. There are some phony crop circles that were done by hands of men, but I'm not going to put up the pictures of them. These are way too intricate. They were done way too quickly, and they're way too perfectly symmetrical to be done by a man. However, a horde of demons or a large principality or whatever demons they conjured up to do these things and make these images used electrical power and demon power and demon intelligence to make these images. And my point that I'm trying to get to is these images are designed for you to believe in them you to yield in them, and you to get demonized when you look at these images with the demons that created them, because these are the images of demons, and these are images of witchcraft, sorcery. That most of these images, just to go through them real quick, I got this one here with the grays, I got one with many crescent moons with the, the Lucifer eye in the middle. You'll notice they always have a central point and a circle, or if they don't have a circle around, they'll have, you know, things leading into a center. That center is designed to be Lucifer and the power of the demonic conjuring. That's where they conjure up these demons. I'm also going to do a video on the Olympic ceremony and the Beyonce halftime show and, and a couple other things. I'm going to try and keep the lustful pictures out. And I'm going to put warnings on some of these videos because for me to teach people, I have to put some pictures up of these seductresses. And if you're not strong in the Lord, you shouldn't even watch them. And you better not watch them because I'm not here to be a part of anyone's backslide. I'm here to be a part of you getting closer to Jesus Christ. So if you don't have the strength over lust, don't watch some of my videos if you know that Beyonce is in them or Kesha or any of these girls that dress, dress in fishnets and they're holding their eyes in, in positions of seductresses because they have the spirit of seduction and adultery in them, and they're looking to pass it off on you. It's their commission by the devil. But anyway, to move on, this crop circle thing has half, half moons. This next one is a Kabbalah symbol, which is ancient mysticism and all this garbage. It's witchcraft, people. Now, that the next one is the next one's a pyramid that just like on your dollar bill with the sunburst behind it. The next one's a butterfly like monarch mon monarch mind control. Next one's a chalice like you see your Roman C Catholic per pope holding. The next one's a Christmas tree of Nimrod that all you morons who are Roman Catholics are celebrating Christmas, and even some of you Christians are celebrating Nimrod still. The next one's an Eye of Lucifer. The next one's a pyramid again. This one's very interesting, the next one. It's the black and white floor I showed you guys in my video about the Vatican and the Freemasonry temples. It's that black and white floor in a crop circle. What do you know? Just, just like in my pictures. 
This next one is a phoenix, just like at the Olympic ceremony. What do you know? Now, if these were aliens from outer space, why would there be a phoenix that the aliens would make? And then we as people decided to make that same phoenix with the, with the star over it at our Olympic ceremony. Isn't that a little weird? Isn't that a little weird? That's because the Illuminati the one, are the ones behind conjuring up demons that are making these images. And the Illuminati is behind demonizing the people that made the plan of what the Olympic halftime or the Olympic ceremony was going to be. And you can watch that video. It'll be coming up after this one if you want to see it. And you're good, you guys, any of you guys who watch all my videos, man, are you going to know what's going on. If you guys watch all my videos, you will be the sharpest Christians on the face of the earth because I study and study and study and I bring out so much stuff that other people don't put together. The devil tried to wipe me out before I got this stronghold in Christ so I couldn't do this. And he still attacks me to this day, but it's not that bad. He can't really penetrate, like I always say. And there's another one of a phoenix... Anyway, guys, how this works is this. There will either be high-level Satanists at these sites, somewhere off in the distance in the woods or in a grove, or they'll be in their mansions and they'll have a seance. Distance really doesn't matter in witchcraft, just like distance doesn't matter in prayer. I could pray for you if you're in, in Mexico and hit you with angels from here, from New Jersey. But they can conjure up demons anywhere over the world and send them over here. But I believe they're conjuring up these demons within that territory because usually demons are very territorial, like gangs. And I believe that England is their stronghold. And these open fields out there and the, and the publicity on these crop circles, they're deceiving many. So what happens is... A bunch of high-level Satanists will conjure up a demon spirit or a principality or a horde of demons or a swarm of demons. However they do it, it's probably different every time. I'm sure it is. Then they'll give them blood. They'll give them a lot of blood. They might even give them a human or sacrifice a human or two or three or ten humans, however much they could give them. My personal belief is... When they do big crop circles like this and when they do fake UFO appearances and there's lights bouncing around in the air and demons taking the form of UFOs that glow in the dark and all this garbage they do to try and deceive us into thinking that they are aliens and that they're here to help us and send us secret messages and give us hints as to the people that are trying to kill us. Meanwhile, they are the ones trying to kill us. And they are the ones deceiving us because they're the only ones in power to do this. There's no one else in power to do this. They want us to think that they are a, a race of aliens that's coming to help us ascend or educate us and liberate us or something like that. This is why the movies like Independence Day and, and all these movies, Mad Max and War of the World, all these movies that teach you how to act in an alien invasion or the end times are out. But anyway, what I was saying about how they conjure these demons up, they draw these circles on the ground, and when you see these pictures, you're going to see the stars in the circles. Just, uh, these crop circles are witchcraft floor symbols that they use in standard witchcraft and standard black magic. That's why I think this is so ridiculous how this is fooling many. And I can't even blame people because before I knew Christ, I used to believe these came from out, out, of, out of the world too. But, you know, you live and you learn. 
And that's what this is all about, spreading the truth. Because this has deceived many. So they put the blood on the floor, they give them to the demons, and they, say, and they tell the demons to go out and conjure these images in fields. Now, one thing about these images, if you don't have the Holy Spirit and you don't look at them with disgust and knowledge that they are witchcraft, and you look at them with knowledge that they are gods, that they were created by gods, and you believe in aliens, and you think these come from another planet, you have yielded to demonic spirits, and you will get demons from yielding to this. And if you make these things an idol, and you research these things all the time, demons will start to manifest in your life, and spiritual things will start to happen through the power of Satan in your life. And many New Age people and many morons who teach New Age go around spreading that there's synchronicity in their life, weird things will line up and happen, and, you know, odd spiritual events. That's the demonic hordes that they've got in their body. That's the demons that they've yielded to this New Age garbage, and they're experiencing spiritual things. They think it's a higher power, but it's Satan's demons. And they're teaching you this, that researching this garbage is going to bring you to a higher level, and I guarantee you it's going to bring you to a higher level of the satanic kingdom. That's what it's going to do. Until you look at these things with knowledge that this is a fraud and this is of the devil, no good could come from looking at these things. See, I could look at them all day now and I don't experience spiritual things anymore, but when I was a meditator and an astral projector and a, into the crop circles and the new age and all this stuff, you better believe demon power was in me. And I had the spirit of divination and everything. I was starting to read minds and leave my body and do things that witches and warlocks do. And that's how I know what the, what's going on right now, because I went through this beating. Now, when I turned... And I turned, when Christ came and saved me, because I didn't turn to him, he came and got me and brought me up to heaven and, and put his spirit in me and worked with me and stayed with me. But uh, when I turned to him, they tried to kill me many times. I would go to my parents' house and start telling my parents about these things. And uh, I would get attacks, almost like heart attacks, where I thought I was going to die. Because the demons in me were trying to kill me. The, ones, the demons that were comfortable in me all my life, that from my sin and my drug use and my crime and my hard-heartedness and pride, those demons, when they see you're turning to Christ, they're already in your camp. So they could hear everything you're thinking while they're still in you. And they can read every thought you think while, while you're of the devil. Until you come to Christ, they will not, they, they, they can know what you're thinking. When you come to Christ, they can't read your mind anymore. You're, you're protected by God. But, um... Aside from this, this is all part of this stuff, guys, these crop circles. This is part of New Age garbage. This is part of the alien agenda lie of the devil. The, the, one, the, the trick they're going to use to try and bring in the New World Order. I'm going to put in a few clips right here of presidents that spoke on trying to, trying to set us up for the fear of an alien invasion for these times. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet, I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? What could be more alien to the universal aspirations of our peoples than war and the threat of war? This plan has been in place since the beginning of the 1900s. The, the, the mid, the, the first quarter, around the first quarter, and I believe it was even before that in Lucifer's mind, in the demon's mind, in the upper echelon, maybe even the, the Rothschilds and the high-level Satanists, but 
you know, the average people didn't see this plan unfolding until the early 1900s. And if you look up in, on, the, on the internet when the first crop circles were found, you will see that they start to say hundreds of years before, but these, that's not true. That's a satanic lie. They did not have the demon power to do this until lately to make these fine-tuned crop circles. Because even if they did have it, they weren't making crop circles like this because I believe in times where the world is very sinful and like it is today pornography is the norm strippings the norm things that are abominant gays are the norm it not like I don't love gays I do but gays you have a demon you have a demon you need to get it cast out no two ways about it no one will convince me otherwise I've seen too many people get delivered and not be gay five minutes later anyway aside from talking about gays because I have to do a video on that and when I say gays I don't mean that derogatory I just don't use these words to a homosexual or whatever you call it. I I don't really talk about homosexuals too much so if that sounded derogatory or nasty I don't I don't know if gays is a is an acceptable term but whatever maybe Dr. Phil will cut up my videos and take out the worst parts and put me on TV and try and make a fool out of me if I'm doing a good job for Jesus. Hopefully he does. I still wouldn't go on the show, but hopefully he does. Anyway, aside from that, these crop circles are purely from the Illuminati. Every circle, everyone I'm looking at right now, you could find in Aleister Crowley's books, you could find them in that book Magic and Occultism, you could find them in, in, in that other, that very popular book on magic, I forget what the name of it is. But guys, if these were aliens, why would they be performing satanic symbols in the cornfields? Witchcraft symbols. Why would an alien, why would a gray alien be the exact representation of E.T. that Satan tried to, to teach you what an alien is in the movie E.T. Don't you realize, people, that your perspective in, of an alien was put in your mind by the media, a.k.a. the devil? That the image of the black-eyed alien with the, with the head like this that that image did not come from some government leak and they put it into a movie. It came from the plan of Satan trying to burn that image into your mind so when he brings it into reality, you receive it as an alien. Do you understand what I'm saying, guys? I hope you understand what I'm saying. Because when he pulls the trigger on this plan, however it's going to pan out, when you see a creepy, crawly critter going down the street, you could rest assured, number one, it's either a government scam or it's a demon that manifested in the natural and either way it's not an alien from outer space it's Lucifer and you will not have any power against these demons without Jesus Christ they will tear you to shreds they will tear you to shreds I've gotten levitated off my bed I've gotten attacked at night I've gotten pulled out of my body these demons have power like you can't stand up against and if they drag you into the spirit realm you're in their territory they can destroy you in there they can possibly kill you it all depends what God's plan is for you and if you're of any value to his kingdom and if you're special to him and his son and if you're not, you better, if you're just, if you don't have that kind of confidence that that's somebody that you are, you better just start begging for Jesus for your salvation because that's your only hope because Satan's going to tear this world to shreds and then Jesus is going to finish him off and then tear the, the actual world to shreds, the actual earth to shreds and reset everything and make it right. But, guys... Do yourself a favor, don't believe in aliens. 
show anyone that believes in aliens this video and my new age video and I'm probably going to do even a third video about how aliens are demons because this is such a heavy agenda in the satanic kingdom this alien conspiracy and this reptilian conspiracy and this light worker and ascended master and different levels planes of existence and energy fields it's all new age throw it in the garbage Open your King James Bible and get baptized in the Holy Spirit. Otherwise, you will have no defense against the enemy. And do not be surprised if you are heavy into looking at these alien images and into believing in aliens that when you turn to Christ, you start to experience some serious blowback from demons, some serious attacks from demons. Because... I was so heavily entrenched in the New Age movement and a master at leaving my body and a master at meditating and, and doing drugs and doing sorcery type behavior. Not knowingly serving Satan or doing sorcery for Satan, but looking back what I did was, was sorcery and alchemy. But uh, also go look at my video on alchemy and go look at my video on chemtrails. Go look at the images of the double X chemtrails I p posted that were sprayed over my house and all that. Check out all my videos, guys. I don't want to plug myself, but you guys need to know all this stuff. And my videos are really good. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but they're, they're pretty much all-inclusive. You're not missing much. You're getting the full cup of the lie so you could learn the truth. Because I love you guys, and I know I know what people are going through with this with this garbage on the internet, and it's so tasty to the heart, and it's tasty to the ears, but the heart is deceitful, and a man is stupid without the wisdom of Christ. Lucifer's too smart for you until God lifts that strong delusion off of you. But uh, that's it. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do my next video on 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 exposing the Illuminati and the Satanists and Satan and what you need to worry about if you're going to try and do that because I know I know people personally that go around and talk about the Illuminati and they're so heavily demonized and they're tortured for it you got to have Christ please watch my next video be blessed in the name of Jesus and may the strong delusion if it's still on you be lifted off and if it's not on you God bless you in your walk with Jesus Christ because he's the only way he's the only way you can protect yourself from this and it's coming on us quick guys so get get him now get jesus now amen good night